Hello everybody. Just wanted to take a second here to show you some of the joiners I made, eh, let's say about two years ago. And I plan on making some more, so I figured I might as well uh, show you guys how I did it. These work out pretty good for doing restoration work. I've been using them pretty steady. You can see actually they kind of worn off a little bit round here. And I'm going to change the design a little bit. But what I really like about this joiner is that you can do the bed joints and also with the same jointer uh, I'm going to be modifying the new ones so that they're a little bit more comfortable for the hand. Uh, but if you take the jointer like this you can also do your head joints as well which is kind of nice. What I plan on doing to make it a little bit more comfortable here is kind of just basically putting a piece of metal on a diagonal right here and hopefully that'll uh, improve the design. Anyways, so what you'll need is uh, some square stock. I have some 3 8 square stocks. I have two pieces here. And I have some quarter inch stock. As you know in restoration, that's uh, you'll find that uh, it varies a little bit. So the original ones I made were 3 8 and five sixteenths. This is quarter inch stock, so I'm just going to try them out as well. And this will give me enough. Oh, yeah, the round stock. This will be for the handle right here. So I'll have to bend that and sink it in there. And also, if I want to put that little piece on a diagonal to make it more comfortable for your hand, I'll be making that out of the round stock as well. So these two or well all four of these we could just take them and just chop them in half they're one foot lengths and we'll be able to get uh well so that would be one two three four so eight jointers out of this so i'm going to set that aside uh i like to use epoxy to put the handles on it makes it uh pretty idiot proof just drill a hole in there and if it fits snugly then you know the the epoxy will take uh take care of the rest so this is just regular five minute epoxy. So I just got a scrap of oak here. So I'll be taking that to the table saw, taking it down and I'll probably be able to make all the handles I need out of this one little blank right here. And so I'll just show you the design here. Hopefully this isn't in the way. I'll get this out of here. So that's pretty much the idea right there. I mean, give or take. I'm not. Uh, I'm not too precise in here, but uh, you know, you got your a 50 degree angle over here for this. It seems to work out pretty good. You know, it doesn't hit the bottom brick, and you'll be able to do the uh, the full head joint, and 65 degree angle for the handle here. It, it it works for me and it's welded about an inch and a half up from the back of the jointer right here and this is the piece that I'm thinking about putting in right here something something like that just just to give you a visual so you can see you know when you when you take it like this it it digs into the hand I, I actually did spend some time to round that over with the uh, grinder, but uh, I think think a little bit more surface would be nice. So put that piece in. Should be good. So let's get to it.
So here are all the pieces that I've made so far. Um, it, obviously, it's not an exact science. And uh, yeah, you know, if you if you go and experiment in your own shop, you might even be able to make it better than than I am. But uh, this is the way that I do it. And anyways, so the next part is I've I made this clamping jig. So I know it's made out of wood, but if you wet the wood, you can kind of weld in there quickly, remove it, and uh, the wood won't really burn that that much. So this is this is almost good to go. And this is the piece that I'm thinking about adding. So it'll it'll go somewhere. Hold on a second. Somewhere kind of just like that. So I will fill all that in with weld as well. And uh yeah, so here we go. Well I was So just uh, welding on one of these little pieces on the back here and uh, yeah like I said not an exact science but uh, fun I'm a far better grinder than I am welder but uh, should hold. Now I gotta drill holes in these. These will become the handles. I'll still have to turn them on the lathe, but um, if you pre-drill the holes beforehand on the drill press while the stock is still square, um, your hole will go more or less straight down.
they're pretty much all ready to uh, get glued. What I did is I actually just took the took the hammer and I just marred up this this uh, the round stock here a little bit just to give it a little bit more positive continuity when I uh, put the the uh, the epoxy in there. I mean the epoxy will do a pretty good job, but you know a little extra measure doesn't uh, doesn't cost much more. All right, here goes the first one. A little bit of epoxy in the hole. And all over here. I guess it doesn't take too much. That's it. In conclusion, with this piece welded in place versus the old model without that piece welded in place, it sits in the hand much better for doing the head joints. And so I, I hope and I will report back if anyone is actually interested uh, that it will um, kind of make it more comfortable for the hand during the day. If not, it really digs in there. So that's nice. And that's it. Uh, I could have spent a little bit more time to make them a little bit more fancy, but uh, you know, it's, it's pretty much just made for work. We have eight jointers, basically for the price of what you would buy two of them. And it's actually exactly what I need. I don't need to buy two separate jointers, one for the head joint, one for the bed joint. It's two in one. They're kind of nice. And they